I'm gonna have to take care of it. What are you gonna do? Who sent this? We know who sent it, and it's not gonna be a problem. Now why did they send it to me? Hey, he just told you it's not gonna be a fucking problem. I don't know what the fuck is going on here, but you do understand what this means, don't you? 25 to life for both of you. Please welcome Ron E. Scott and Stephen Curry Moulton! Hello, guys. We're good. We're good. Thank you. Congratulations. You've wrapped, you've wrapped the season. You're free now. So listen, you know, when you think about it, it hasn't been that long from when people started to really talk about what was going on with Blackstone, Michelle winning the Gemini, right? Things are, Michelle Thrush, things are really starting to, to build for you guys. Could you have imagined you would have reached this point when you first came up with it? No way. I mean, it's so surprising, but at the same time, it's so rewarding just to see like how the community's embraced it and the critics have embraced it. And then there's also some people who haven't embraced it, and that's okay too, because yeah. at least people are talking about it. And that's why it was created in the first place, to promote discussion and get it out there. It's not the first time that you, you've, you've made projects that, I mean, that deal with these kinds of issues. I wanna play a stand-up act that I think is super poignant for today. If you go to an AA meeting because you have no coffee at home, You might be a redskin. If you start a bar fight and your wife's got to finish it. <laughs> you then go, hey, don't mess with me, man. Don't mess with me. My wife's Mohawk. That's an amazing standard routine, and it's not new. It's, like, it's almost a decade old, isn't it? Yeah. yeah it's on Don Burnsick. Yeah. yeah. That's the routine. Yeah. Um, and, you know, I'm a Jerry, my favorite football team in the NFL is, is uh, the Washington Football Club. I want them to change their name. Okay. We talked about it on our show that they got to change their name. But this whole idea of you might be a Redskin, the reclamation of the word is interesting to me. It's like when hip-hop started reclaiming the N-word, right? Is it the same thing when you, when, when you look back? Uh, I, <laughs> I'm not touching this. Yeah. <laughs> you have to, man. <laughs> I... I I, I look at it as, if, I, if it's derogatory, then it's out. Yeah. You know, but if it's not, I mean, what the hell, it's a big planet, let's it, get along it? here. What do you think? Well, I think that it's, uh, it's tough because there is a lot of tradition there, and I think that, you know, as times change, maybe football teams need to change, or, or you, know, uh, you know, baseball teams. I mean, it's, at the same time, you know, it, it is a sports thing, and it isn't very derogatory, and I don't think there's any disrespect shown for the culture. But, uh, you know, everyone's got their opinion. I hear a lot of conversation about the Washington team having to change their name, and there's not nearly, because Canadians don't like to be this self-reflective, but the Edmonton Eskimos need to change their name, too. Exactly. Like, they need to change their name. And if we're going to get the Washington Redskins to change yeah. their name, we've got to well, we get... we got to start here at home. Yeah, yeah. exactly. And that's leadership, but right? Got, yeah, but the thing is, there's so many bigger bigger issues going on, you know, and, and, and that's the thing. But this is an easy one to fix. This is kind of like, okay, we'll do it. Yeah, it could, it could be a flip of a pen. But what, what, what's really, if it's that easy, what's the, what's the, what's the weight in it? That's, I mean, I'm not saying yeah. to stay with it, but I mean, we, if, if we're gonna put energy into things, we gotta put energy into feeding kids. We gotta put our energies into getting kids hope on, like, you know, we've had, what, 200 something auditions last year for, yeah. for kids that hadn't even auditioned before and two kids landed parts in the last It's to shine a light in and, and give, make a quality here. I, I think that we got some bigger issues. We, we need equality, you know, and we need it right here, and we need to start it now. I, I, I completely agree. I like what you said, too, about the kids auditioning. When I've heard people talk about Blackstone as it relates to shows like The Sopranos, but it's, I think, culturally closer to The Wire in that when they were making The Wire, yeah. right? I mean, mm -hmm. there were kids who weren't actors. And David Simon was well, trying right to get off the street. Yeah, is, is that? Yeah. Did you, do you kind of look to that in a way? Oh, for sure. I mean, this season we actually used twelve actors that haven't acted before, Oof. and so. Uh, our casting director said, like, so many more kids were coming out because they were actually, you know, encouraged. And, uh, you know, they end up on the show, they see themselves, and then their friends see that. And it's a, it's a really, it's yeah. an interesting part. It's a beautiful thing here. I mean, you've been on sets a long time, you've been around this, and when you first started seeing these scripts and saw the kind of subjects, what did you think? Well, it, it, I grew up on and off and around the north and reservations, and, and it's, I grew up thinking some of that was the norm, yeah. you know? And as you get out of, and you take off into the world, you start to realize that it's all choices. Everything's about choices. And 
you look back and you know, it's, so when I saw these scripts, it was like, boy, we're gonna, we're gonna be raising some smoke. Yeah. yeah. When you guys were shooting Idle No More, was start, was really, mm -hmm. you know, starting to make headlines. And then you hear that policy is starting to change because of subjects brought up on Blackstone. That's what any artist hopes for. Yeah. When did you first get wind of that? I was, uh, someone had told me that um, this nation in, I think it was Northern Ontario or Manitoba, I don't want to you know, butcher it, I don't know the exact one, that their bylaws were actually changed as a result of some of the discussions that came up on Blackstone, and I'm just like, wow. <laughs> like, that's pretty incredible. And I know that other reserves have had discussions because of that. And I think when you first hear that, you just think you're, you're not only entertaining people in a really, um, you know, positive way, but you're also uh, the, the conduit for some, maybe for some social change. Mm -hmm. yeah, thanks for yeah. coming. It's good to have, thank you. 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 season three finale, October 30th on APTN, which is the Aboriginal People's Television Network. Everybody should watch it. Ronnie Scott, Stephen Tremolson, we'll be right back.